Transcribed. Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents Victor Herbert's enchanting operetta, The Princess Pat, starring Gordon McRae and his celebrated guest star, Elaine Malbin. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and the music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another big musical success is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you. Thank you, Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, sir, tonight we have an abundance of good things. From Broadway, a lovely guest star, Elaine Malvin. And from the pen of Victor Herbert... A memorable score. Here's the Princess Pat. Does that music make you think of Neapolitan nights, the Isle of Capri, sunsets at Sorrento? Vesuvius, rising like a proud giant over the blue waters of the Mediterranean. Well, that's where my palace was, in the Bay of Naples. My name is Prince Antonio di Montalvo, But when you get to know me better, you can call me Toto. I left the Bay of Naples to follow an Irish lass halfway around the world. A girl named Pat. And when she finally married me, all her friends on Long Island called her Princess. The Princess Pat. Oh, Pat, it's so strange to think that you're a princess. But it's no different from being Mrs. Jones or Mrs. Smith. Any woman who's in love with her husband is a princess, Grace. Oh, that's a happiness I'll never know, Pat. They're making me marry a funny old man named Mr. Schmaltz. Well, that's awful. What's he like? Oh, he hasn't got anything at all. Except a million dollars. Well, don't marry him. But I have to. My father's lost all his money, and it's the only way I can help. Oh, dear. The strange part is that I'm in love with Mr. Schmaltz's son, Tony. But he won't have a cent if he marries without his father's permission. Take my advice, Grace. Grab Tony, money or no money. Why, I wouldn't have cared if my husband were a prince or a street cleaner. I love him. And that's all that counts. Bitter than confess Life is but a jest Pass the time with love Love and song Seeking to beguile With a merry smile Weary us When the world's going wrong Far from life apart Near to nature's heart Oh, what joy we find 
Adamia! Adamia! Hello, Toto. Ah, my beautiful wife. And her beautiful little friend. How are you enjoying America, Prince? It's wonderful, Grace. Every girl here is almost as lovely as my wife. <sighs> as Long Island is surrounded by water, so I should like to be continually surrounded by such beauty. <laughs> I wish I was an island in an ocean of girls Surrounded by the far as I could see And like the little waves at play that kiss the shore They run away so I should like to have them play with me Just one and then another comes a slipping along Oh creamy white within your arms she curls As with one sudden fond embrace She splashes kisses on your face Oh, for an island, what a place An ocean full of girls I wish I was an island in an ocean of girls Surrounded by them far as I could see And like the little waves that play that kiss the shore and run away So I would like to have them play with me Just one and then another comes a slipping along All creamy white within your arms she curls as with one sudden fond embrace, she splashes kisses on your face. Oh, for an island, what a place! An ocean full of girls. Toto, where are you going? To get my feet wet. Ta-ta, my darling. Ta-ta, Toto. Isn't that awful, Grace? My husband has an eye for every pretty girl in Long Island. Oh, men are all alike. Except, of course, Tony. Grace, I'm going to teach my husband a lesson. And do a little flirting myself. Pat, if you're going to flirt with anybody, why not Mr. Schmaltz? You could make Toto jealous. And at the same time, keep me from marrying that awful millionaire. I'll do it, Grace. There's everybody. There's anybody. Everywhere I look, I find nobody. <laughs> That's Mr. Schmaltz. Ah, oh, there, there you are. Uh, hello, Poopshin. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Schmaltz, I'd like you to meet the Princess Pat. I'm very pleased to meet you, Mr. Schmaltz. Isn't she lovely, Mr. Schmaltz? Oh, 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 I tell you, women are my strongest weakness. <laughs> I'm told you're a leader of men. A captain of industry. A giant of commerce. Mm, I'm loaded. <laughs> you have heard of Schmaltz's upper Bavarian chicken fat, don't you? It's a household word. Schmaltz's chicken fat is perfect. Schmaltz's chicken fat is perfect for shining your shoes. For shining your shoes. Frying your schnitzel. Or to polishing the furniture. And making a million dollars. And other specialty is goose grease. <laughs> Use the grease geese. <laughs> Mr. Schmal, I yeah. have a question to ask you. Yeah? How would you like to be an island in an ocean of girls? Hmm, bring on the waves. <laughs> <laughs> then let's go for a little walk, Mr. Schmal, into the forest where it's shady and romantic. Imagine this A princess on the arm of the chicken fat king mm, It's spontaneous We'll see you later, Grace oh, I think it's going to work Katamia Katamia Oh, Grace Where did my princess go? Uh, she was uh, called to the house for a moment uh, Toto If you were trying to set the stage for a romance How would you do it? Well, music Always soft music the language of love. This is what we do in Naples. You make love to a beautiful woman, and in the distance, a street singer helps to tell her what is in your heart. Toto, a very dear friend of mine is trying to be romantic at the moment and needs help like that. Let me hear how it would sound. I'll always help you to have a romance. Tis evening and the sun is at rest. The shadows now fall In the heavens a radiant star is shining And softly as the night drops her sable mantle
Your Highness. That Neapolitan love song of yours is echoing through the entire forest. Grace, that's no echo. That's my wife. Yes, isn't it romantic? Keep singing, Toto, keep singing. When shall I again caress you? If you only tell me second act of The Princess Pat in just a moment. Now here is act two of the Lawrence and Lee version of Victor Herbert's The Princess Pat, starring Gordon McRae and Elaine Malbin. out there in the forest with another man. Well, it serves me right. I thought it'd be fun to be an island in the notion of girls. It turned out to be a mud scow. Because, you see, my Princess Pat, with the lovely laughing eyes, was using those eyes to flirt with old man Schmaltz. <laughs> oh, Princess, you are fascinating. <laughs> How do you do it? Every time you flash your eyes at me, it's like electricity. <laughs> then I'll flash them once again. <laughs> I am electrocuted. <laughs> Whether young man or old man, or timid or bold man, there's one thing he cannot resist. Tis a glance of your eye, which he takes to imply that perhaps he would like to be killed. a beautiful voice and those eyes. I cannot resist you, princess. But, Mr. Schmaltz, remember, I have a husband. Oh, forget about him. Married men never make good husbands. <laughs> yeah. Kiss me, please. No, please. Not so fast. Calamia! Calamia, where are you? Quick, kiss me. Yes, no, yes. This is a typical woman, all right. 
What is going on here? Oh, the, the husband. Oh, hello, Toto. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, Mr. Schmock. He's in goose grease. Well, I'll make goose grease out of him. <laughs> Toto, don't do anything. If you'll just step over this way, Mr. Schmaltz, we'll arrange the details of the duel. Uh, uh, duel? <laughs> oh, every time I take a woman's hand, I put my foot in it. <laughs> now tell me, what weapons you prefer? Pistols, rapiers, or swords? I prefer chicken feathers. <laughs> duel. <laughs> a duel. Grace? Grace? Yes, Pat? It's working. He's so jealous, he's challenged Mr. Schmaltz to a duel. That's awful. No, it's wonderful. Everything's going to be hunky-dory. Yes, Toto? <laughs> the object of your affection isn't even man enough to stand up in a duel. Oh, what did he do? He ran off, and he said to tell Grace he'd never see her again. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, he's taking his Upper Bavarian chicken fat business back to Upper Bavaria. And Grace, he leaves his son to you with his blessings. You see, Grace, I told you everything would work out. And what about us? Don't you love me, Toto? I'm afraid it's too late. Memories fall 
Yes, Princess? I have a confession to make to you. What is it? I was only flirting with that man to make you jealous. What? I didn't like the idea of your being in an ocean of girls. I felt like a wet rock. <laughs> well, I promise never to look at an ocean again. And how about you, Grace? Oh, I'm off to find Tony, the chicken fat prince. Why, Pat, I'm going to be the princess fat. <laughs> you know, this whole thing ends just like an operetta should. Where love is best of all. <laughs> Far from life apart, oh, nature's heart, oh, what joy we find oh, where oh, nature's heart, but a kiss will Lovely Elaine Malvin will be back in just a moment. And our thanks to Sam Hearn, Janet Waldo, and our entire company. Princess Pat, with music by Victor Herbert and book by Henry Blossom, was dramatized for The Railroad Hour by Lawrence and Lee. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at the same time by the American Railroads. Marvin? Mary Pickford, America's sweetheart of a generation ago, today began a nationwide tour by train on behalf of the Treasury's bond-a-month drive for United States savings bonds. Miss Pickford is serving as associate national chairman of the campaign, for which Mrs. Dwight D. Eisenhower is honorary chairman. In taking this assignment, Miss Pickford reenacts her history-making Liberty Bond tour of 1918. To Mary Pickford and the thousands of women volunteers who will assist her in the April bond drive, the Railroad Hour sends congratulations and best wishes for success. Thank you, Marvin. And now here again is our delightful guest, Miss Elaine Malvin. Thank you, Gordon. The Railroad Hour has always been one of my favorite programs. And it was a great pleasure singing here with you. Well, believe me, Elaine, the pleasure was all ours. And we're mighty glad you could take time off from your Broadway appearances to sort of split a Monday with us. <laughs> Thank you, Gordon. You know, you're bringing Broadway to the nation every week. Well, we're trying. What's on next Monday's show train? You just listen, Elaine. Look for the silver lining Whenever a cloud appears in the room Recognize it? Oh, yes. Jerome Kern's immortal Sally. My golly, you're 100% correct. And we'll <laughs> all be looking for a silver lining. Same stage, same curtain time, next Monday night. We'll all be listening. Good night, Gordon. Good night, Elaine. And come back real soon. All aboard. Well, dear friends, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so until next week. And, uh, Sally, this is Gordon McRae saying good night. Princess Pat was presented by special arrangement with the Tams Whitmark Music Library. Gordon McRae may soon be seen co-starring in By the Light of the Silvery Moon. Our choir was under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music was prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Until next week, this is Marvin Miller saying good night for the American Railroads. Now stay tuned for your Monday night of music on NBC. <laughs> This program was transcribed. Stay tuned now for the Pacific Telephone Hour on NBC.